Alright, YouTubers, it's uh, another day and we did some work today. And as you can see, the plywood's kind of changed orientation a little bit from the last video. Well, that's because we have it hung. So let me get down in here and I'll show you exactly how it's going to work. Alright, now if you remember yesterday, in the back of the Allison here, or on the previous video I should say, the drive shaft came off of here and went all the way through here. That's right, I took that piece off to there. So I've taken the second piece of drive shaft off and the yoke on it is going to bolt up to this yoke right here. And that's the back of the trans. Those are one inch bolts holding the C channel I was talking about that goes all the way across the frame. I guess you can't really see. There it is. Right over there. They're just resting in here right now. As you can see, they're not they're not bolted in. That's the front piece. And uh, it's just bolted in, bolted to the C channel just roughly right now. We're not we we are going to have to elevate the uh, the whole assembly about an inch and a half because the angles on the drive shaft are just too steep. But so, if you remember on the previous video, I mentioned shift rods. Well, here they are right here. These two rods connect to the shifter, and they'll go up in the front of the transmission, or up in the front of the bus, over the Allison, the automatic. And this is the uh, input shaft. So right now, it's locked in direct drive. So if I sit here and rotate this, which I can do, the output shaft, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, and I can't see, but I'm assuming you're looking at the output shaft. It's turning the same exact speed as the input shaft. So, so I just have to get U joints for both. We're going to put a new yoke on the second uh, section of drive shaft, and, uh, and it will bolt right to that output shaft of this transmission. And the input shaft, I have uh, an input drive shaft I'll show you in a second that has a spline on it. Um, one thing to note, I am glad I did take that uh, second section of drive shaft out because the yoke that's on it right now on the front of it, or the first section would have bolted to, which you know, which is going to be replaced with the transmission yoke, the U-joint uh, on it was, uh, uh, it was bad. So that works. Now I'm going to show you the uh, other yoke. I mean the uh, the front input shaft and how it's going to work. All right, so here's the front section of the drive shaft now? that came out. And if you look right here, <clears throat> so this piece right here is going to go on the Allison, and they're going to put a put it on a new drive shaft. <sighs> Let's see here. Here's the piece that came out. I think this is the yeah. If you look, I can't turn this at all. This is the piece that you joined I was just mentioning that was bad. This one right here will turn nice and freely. The other one won't, so it's a good thing I yanked it out. This is going to be, this yoke right here is going to be replaced with this one. And this is the drive shaft coming off the front of the transmission going to the Allison. And that's what's called a full slip yoke. It's a spline. It allows for expansion and contraction. They're going to make another piece that goes onto the Allison. And that flange I showed you a second ago will go on that piece. Anyway, that's where we are so far. Thanks for watching.